What's up, you all? Today, we're talking about a pre-built PC that I had purchased that I feel is actually underrated and the cost of it and what it does. Trust me, let's just let's break it down. A year ago already, I bought this PC. Everything's still in it. This is my order history in Best Buy. I'm actually using this PC right now to record what y'all are seeing. So it's encoding everything for you all. I definitely utilize it at a 1080p, 60 frame per second. I don't try to push 1440 or 4K with this. There's a lot of reasoning why this is a very, very, very budget PC. Let's read the specs and I'll just give y'all my overall insights in and just give you examples of what we're doing with it. So let's go ahead. So this is the CyberPower PC Gamer Master Gaming Desktop, AMD Ryzen 5, 5500, 8 gigabyte memory, AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT, 500 gigabyte SSD, and it is black. It's the exact one I have. It's literally right here, uh, right next to me. When I saw this, I saw this online. I was like, oh man, hopefully this can be something that I really needed. Now I was utilizing before this, even a worse story. I was using a Dell Optiplex that actually was helping me out in code my stream. I use a dual PC for my stream, but back then I also used just a console and utilize a Dell Optiplex for one of the cheapest setups ever. Well, right now it shows it's 799 uh, USD. $799, but I think I got it at the time like 720 or something like that. Sale going down too. So this is very affordable. You can see like the mouse right here. See, look. Like I'm using the mouse. This is the exact mouse. This is my second cyber power that I had bought. I like to do cheaper stuff and budget just to see like how far we can push it and how much it goes under the radar. This is how that looks. And then here's the front essential. I like, I love the way that this front looked. It kind of just created that cool aspect. That's that top. It does have some of these RGB in there. And that's exactly how the power looks. Yup. Version of, you know, motherboard, everything that you can see. Oh, there's only one ripe, obviously, about this when you buy cheaper PCs. Right here, when you see that eight gigabyte mem uh, memory, my advice is to always, as soon as you see something eight gigabyte to try your best to find something with 16 gigabyte now that was my only thing but look at these reviews like, these reviews are insane when you look at these reviews but like, it, it is massive like look at this man like people have dope setups with it this really helps you out with what you're trying to do if you're with me here's my background story and what i do for this i use this under a dual setup and that dual setup entails me being able to encode virtual reality. I'm a huge virtual reality content creator, but I also love tech and the budget size of tech. I don't really like just relevant tech. I like to find hidden gems and all of that. This was a massive hidden gem for me. Like what I said, I was using a Dell Optiplex. That wasn't that fun when I used my console. This is great if you want to pair it with a console with the capture card and be able to stream. If you want to do a dual PC budget and then just utilize that. This is not great for doing both at the same time. I wouldn't really highly recommend it, but that'll be up to you. Maybe some people can push it if you hard wire everything you might be able to push some things with virtual reality i was able to do everything i'm able to get into like the, the best of games uh that i want to play like phasmophobia boneworks uh, it could do half-life alex they could do all of these and that's enough of what i needed as a vr creator now if your pc can even push virtual reality pc vr then you're good to go I mean, it, it fits it's everything i want i play games i'm able to do vr so with boneworks it just shows that you need a, a gtx 1060 which the the 6500 xt is more than enough on, on phasmophobia let's look at the phasmophobia stuff now now phasmophobia your graphics is a gtx 970 and, and uh an r9 390 so this is a way update in a radeon side this pc and this is able to run phasmophobia and this is phasmophobia and it says a note right here it says minimum specs are for vr lower specs may work for non-vr so this spec works for vr pc vr those are kind of some of the things you want to get into as of now now there's going to be a lot more games on pc vr of course but this really helps everything or if you recently got a new console so like a PS5, Xbox, a Series X, you can link this with a capture card and you can do whatever you need. So my advice, if you're getting this type of PC, which is very, very budget, you can either, you have two options with it. So one, you can use it as a heavy encoder, which I'm doing right now. You can see me like this whole video you're watching. I'm using this PC right here, or you could do, you could actually utilize it as just a gaming rig like offline or maybe you can try to game and also stream maybe 720 with it usually twitch is very good at 720 if you're using a very budget pc or you can use your console as your main rig and you could push this to 1080 with tons of frames so that's my advice you either connect it this can be a, a massive encoder or just a very budget so like who would i recommend this pc for is exactly what i said if you're not into content creation and you want to game offline you're still going to get very respectable results with this especially as a beginner pc or just someone that's on a tight budget second if you want to use it as an encoder not necessarily your main gaming gaming rig if you're a content creator youtuber streamer etc pair this with a capture card and use your rig other than that, if you have a console, then you could easily use this with a console. And then now you have yourself an actual PC stream where you have all the PC features, including being able to edit like Streamlabs, OBS and all that. But this right here 
is underrated. And so if you are looking at this, know that I push 1080, 60 frames with it easily every day. And that's what keeps it safe. If it's a budget PC, your main role is to keep it safe. You don't want to run it to the ground. You don't want to max it out. And it does have room Like you can see right here. Like there is room for upgrades. You can definitely get yourself a new GPU at any time. And then you can upgrade into uh, buying yourself some more RAM. And that those are those two are the, some of the main important things. Obviously, uh, cyber the cyber power PC with the AMD Ryzen 5 5500 and it's a 6500 XT GPU Radeon. That's if you wanna go to the Radeon side also. They're a little bit different than what Nvidia is. But in my opinion, oh, worth it. I just wanted to share my personal experience and if I would recommend it and that it does run miracles to this day. I, I have it set up right here in my setup and I, I still love it. You know, I was love, I was I was glad to talk about this today, man. So y'all need any more, just let me know. I'll link it and y'all can just give me uh, y'all's insights, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one, man. Peace.